Hello everyone. Today let us try to understand uh, what are the problems that can happen during pregnancy in patients with PCOD and also the, what are the other metabolic problems that can happen with, in patients with PCOD. Uh, as I told you earlier, first of all, it is very difficult, uh, difficult for the patients with PCOD to conceive. That is, they will have more problems of infertility that is because the egg is not getting released every month so apart from the but once conceived then also they, they can have more complications with the pregnancy because one thing is the quality of the egg is uh, poor in patients with pcod and also the endometrial receptivity and the quality of the endometrium uh, in patients with pcod is actually uh, very poor uh, so once they conceive uh, when compared to patients who doesn't have PCOD, in patients with PCOD, there is high risk of having first trimester miscarriage. The risk increases by 20 to 40 percent. And the other problems uh, in pregnancy which can happen is there is high risk of having gestational diabetes, that is diabetes during pregnancy. There is high risk of having increased blood pressure during pregnancy. They can have preeclampsia and um, they can have a high risk of a small for gestation the baby development may get affected that is the weight of the baby will be less which is seen in 15 percent of the pcod patients who are pregnant and then there may be chances of um, a high risk of preterm labor that is delivery before 37 weeks of gestation and also there may be prob there may be increased risk of cesarean section in patients with PCOD, first of all, there will be obesity. So uh, apart from obesity, uh, along even due to obesity also and due to other reasons also, there may be increased chances of cesarean section in patients with PCOD. So to optimize the outcome of pregnancy in patients with PCOD, that's what we always say, we always advise that when they're planning for pregnancy, the first and foremost thing they have to do is they should lose weight. They should come to their ideal uh, BMI if they're obese. That is the first thing they have to do. And before, uh, once they start planning pregnancy, they should start taking folic acid. So all these things and following a healthy lifestyle, all these things will help to reduce the hormonal imbalance and to reduce the complications which can happen during pregnancy so the other uh, the what are the metabolic problems which can happen in patients with pcod is one is obesity as i told you earlier already there is increased uh, insulin levels it is hyperinsulinemia in pregnancy in, in obesity and also in patients with pcod already there is hyperinsulinemia so when both pcod and obesity are combined together the uh, the uh, the ill effects that's the bad effects of these hormones increases so once this obesity increases there is increased risk of diabetes mellitus so in almost 50 to 80 percent of the patients with pcod will have obesity so that increases the risk of diabetes so uh, patients with pcod by the time they reach 40 years 40 years of their age more than 50 percent of the patients are already diabetic so the diabetes risk is increased and also there is increased risk of metabolic syndrome as I told earlier which means metabolic syndrome is diabetes, hypertension, obesity and hyperlipidemia that is increased cholesterol and other triglyceride levels in the body. So when this risk increases obviously it will have effect on the cardiovascular system that it causes increased risk of um, heart attack, increased risk of atherosclerosis. So all these effects can happen in uh, patients with PCOD. These are the long-term uh, complications or long-term implications which the, which the patients with PCOD have to live with them throughout their life. So, so once we diagnose PCOD, like uh, at the time of diagnosis, we would have done many hormonal tests like FSH, LH, prolactin levels, uh, androgen levels, all this. So apart from these tests, so we have to do some more tests to increase the quality of life of the patients with PCOD, like we need to do thyroid function tests to rule out any thyroid problems. And because there is increased risk of diabetes, we need to do GTT regularly, maybe once every one year or two years, but there is no fixed guideline for that. Uh, at least once in two years, they can do glucose tolerance tests. They need to check their blood pressure uh, regularly and they need to do their lipid profiles regularly. They need to check their weight. They need to be very cautious about their weight. They need to follow a healthy lifestyle. So by following all these um, healthy lifestyles, uh, the effects, the ill effects of this uh, PCOD can be reduced in a long run. 
so i think for this uh, today this much of information is enough take care bye if you like these videos please like comment and share and for more updates on women's health please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell